Have you ever wondered what the basis of China's claims in the South China Sea and East China Sea are? At the heart of these claims lie notions of sovereignty, colonial victimhood, nationalism, and security. These concepts are deeply entrenched in China's historical narrative and national identity. Sovereignty, the supreme authority within a territory, is a driving force behind China's maritime claims. They assert their right to control and govern these contested regions. Colonial victimhood on the other hand reflects China's past experiences with foreign intervention and exploitation, fueling a sense of entitlement to regain control over these areas. Nationalism is another significant factor, as it serves to unite the Chinese populace under a common cause, strengthening internal cohesion and resolve. And then there's security. These maritime regions are crucial for China's defense strategy, offering both protection and a strategic advantage in the event of conflict. Both the South China Sea and East China Sea disputes share common characteristics, primarily their origins rooted in sovereignty claims. These historical and political factors form the foundation of China's maritime claims. Now let's delve deeper into the specifics of these disputed territories. In the East China Sea a group of islands is the subject of contestation. Known as Diaoyu in China and Senkaku in Japan, these islands are also claimed by Taiwan. The dispute is rooted in notions of sovereignty and historical grievances, with each party asserting their rightful ownership. Switching our focus to the South China Sea, the situation is even more complex. Here, we have four major island groups under dispute, with six states laying claim. The most contentious among them is the Spratly Islands. The reason? Their rich resources and strategic location. The Spratly Islands are believed to hold vast reserves of natural resources, making them a coveted prize. Their geographical position also provides strategic advantages, offering control over major maritime routes. These territorial disputes aren't just about land or sea, they are about power, resources and influence. They've sparked military conflicts and fueled competition for natural resources, and as these disputes persist, the stakes continue to rise, making the South and East China Seas two of the most volatile regions in the world. Beyond historical and sovereignty claims, what are China's strategic interests in these regions? Well, let's dive into that. China's interests in the South China Sea and the East China Sea aren't just rooted in historical narratives or ideas of sovereignty. They also have strategic dimensions that are crucial to understanding the complexity of these disputes. One of these strategic interests lies in closing security gaps. By asserting control over these regions, China aims to fortify its defense and security mechanisms, essentially creating a buffer against potential threats. In addition, China is keen on expanding its maritime navigation. Control over these waters would mean a considerable increase in its naval mobility, which would significantly enhance its global influence and power. But there's more to it. The disputes also bring to light questions about maritime boundaries. Determining these boundaries is a complex process, often leading to disagreements and controversies. This complexity adds another layer of tension to the ongoing disputes. So, when we assess China's claims in these regions, we need to consider these factors. It's not just about who has historical rights to these waters. It's also about strategic interests and how the maritime boundaries are defined. China's claims, therefore, are not just about historical rights but also about strategic interests and maritime boundaries. As we can see, the South China Sea and East China Sea disputes are multifaceted and deeply rooted in history, politics and strategic interests. To recap, China's claims are based on notions of sovereignty, colonial victimhood and nationalism. The disputed territories include the Diaoyu or Senkaku Islands in the East China Sea and the Spratly Islands in the South China Sea, among others. China's strategic interests in these regions are mainly to close security gaps and expand maritime navigation. We hope this video has given you a clearer understanding of China's claims in the South China Sea and East China Sea. Don't forget to comment your thoughts like this video, share it with others and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content.